Oh my god, there's so much stuff everywhere. I'm so overwhelmed. ones here for masterpieces doesn't have a price on them it's another one that's pretty ten dollars that's kind of a lot oh it's brand new that's why got some games so one thousand piece 3.99 probably less i know three dollars what else we got here Milton Bradley, 500 piece, three dollars as well. The video's probably not gonna last long with me talking because of the music. This is ten dollars. It's a nice box. It's no, it's not brand new, it's used. What else do we have? Two dollars for this one here. Check this one out, a heronym collection. I like the ones I got from eBay. Those are cool. The four one thousand piece puzzles. How much is this one? There's actually no price on this. Look at this. It's a crypt puzzle. I've seen you guys do these online. <gasps> How much is this one? $7.50. Is that worth it for a used crypt puzzle? How much are these usually? Oh my god, I just might get this one anyways. I don't know. Oh, my only concern would be if it has all the pieces in it. Should I risk it? I don't know. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is kind of a good find here. Okay, so far that's a possibility. What else do we have here? We have Kodak. Looks like we got some Seiko ones here. Let's see what this is. That's cute. We have this one here as well. This is $6.99. We have another hometown collection, like the ones I picked up from eBay. $8, which is actually more than what I spent on eBay. Let's see what else. Got a Seiko for $3.50, but I have tons of Seiko. We have a Big Ben set here. Is that the brand? I'm assuming it's the brand. Yeah, that makes sense. Nice red barn. That's $4.50. That's not too bad. I mean, I don't know. So far, I'm still eyeing this crypt one here. This, this, this might be coming along with me as I shop the rest of the store. So let's see what else we can find. Another small area here with some puzzles. Please excuse the hammering. But we have this one for $5.00. Four. We have a Thomas Kincaid here. That's a very old Seiko. That's three dollars. We have some Cardinal ones here for a dollar fifty. These are five hundred piece. Let's see. Seiko. Another one here by Yes Design. Six dollars. Oh, these are brand new puzzle sets too. Well, some of them are, not all of them. There's quite a number of Seiko ones here. I'm not really looking for Seiko. We got a brand new Springbok here for $8. It's not bad. Mostly Seiko. I don't really want Seiko. Animal Kingdom. Now look at this. If there was a Disney one here that I'd be all over it, but I actually have this one already. It's not bad. It's brand new for $8. That's cheaper than what I would pay at Walmart. Oh man. Now I have this one in 500 piece, so it doesn't really make sense for me to get a 750 piece. I should just get one that I don't have. Let's keep looking. Got a spring buck for six dollars here, brand new, which is much cheaper than what you would pay at like Walmart or something. That one's ten. Seiko. 
Too bad they didn't have Disney ones that I don't have, but anyways, let's keep looking. Oh my God, there's so much stuff everywhere. I'm so overwhelmed. So we have here the I Am Horse, I Am Wolf. These are $6. Now in this, these kind of places, you have to really look in between the items that are on the shelves because I'm noticing as I look through things, I'm spotting boxes of puzzle sets within books and other random things. So you have to keep a close eye out as you're shopping through thrift stores. I mean, this place is massive, so this is very interesting. So, first impressions on my first thrift store shop. Honestly, it was quite overwhelming. It was a very, very big store. And I wish I could have showed you every level and every corner of it, but that would have just been a very long video. And probably a very loud one as well. At one point, they were blasting music on one of the levels, and I was like, why is there a party going on in here? But anyways, I was happy to see that they did carry a, a pretty okay selection of puzzles. A little more expensive than what I was expecting, honestly. But in the end, it wasn't too bad. Now hit that like button if you're a fan of shopping at thrift stores. And let me know down below if you found some real treasures and what kind of really good deals you found. Now I kind of showed you whilst we were there the price tags on most of them. And if you can also let me know, is that kind of typical pricing for thrift stores or did you think it was kind of expensive there? I'm really new to this, so I'm not really sure really what they should be charging or if I can probably find a better deal elsewhere. I kind of feel like for a lot of them, they kind of averaged out to the same as to what I would get through eBay. But I don't know, maybe in thrift stores you just gotta get lucky, I don't know. But anyways, through all the puzzles that I saw there, there was only really one that kind of piqued my interest. And that particular set was, which you're probably not surprised, or maybe you are, I don't know. But it was this one. And this one is 654 pieces. It is the Crypt Silver Puzzle, and it is approximately 20 inches by 27 inches when it's completed. And it intrigued me because I've heard so much about the Crypt series from Robinsberger. And I've been eyeing quite a few of them online, but I didn't really want to spend full price for a puzzle that was probably going to make me pull my hair out. So I'm really glad that I was able to find it at a much, much cheaper price. This box is pretty darn old looking and it smells very old too, to be honest. But overall, I feel like the box is in pretty good shape. I feel like we should just open this together real quick and let's see what we got here. I'm trying my best not to um, tear anything. But I mean, you know, will all the pieces be in here? I, I don't know. This is a, this seems a bit risky to me, to be honest. It might only have 300 pieces in here. I don't know. It's taped pretty darn well, so I better have all the pieces in there. Oh my God. This doesn't give me much hope now that I'm looking at this. And um, the reason why I say that is because they're just kind of all loose in here. The paperwork itself inside looks really good. What is this? What does this come with? Oh, okay. So I guess it comes with a diagram. I mean, the diagram itself is in very good shape. The envelope is in good shape. We also have a warranty certificate. I've never done anything like this before. And as I said, it, this was never a particular collection or set that I'd be willing to pay more than 20 bucks for, considering that it will most likely cause me to get very upset because I can only imagine how frustrating this could be trying to put together with it all just being one color. I mean, how the heck do you even start with something like this? If any of you have completed a Ravensburger Crypt puzzle or anything similar to this, let me know down below what your strategy was. Overall, as I put my hand through all these pieces, I must say the condition of them is very good. Yeah, I mean, whoever owned this puzzle took very good care of it. Nothing looks damaged, nothing looks bent. So who knows? If all the pieces are actually in here, then you know this was totally worth it. Here's another question. Do you guys usually, when you buy thrifted puzzles or used puzzles, do you count all your pieces before you start it to like kind of mentally prepare yourself for the fact that you'll never finish the puzzle? Or like, do you just wing it and just like 
get very sad in the end. As I said, I'm a little nervous that, you know, I'll try to complete this and I'll go nuts trying to complete it to then find out that I can never actually complete it. I mean, that's pretty devastating. You know what it makes me think of, honestly? And I know most of us talk about this in the comments down below about missing pieces in our puzzle sets. And I, I'm, a lot of you don't mind, really. But for me personally, if I'm taking the time to complete something with a thousand pieces, 500 pieces, or something like this kind of nonsense, I would really want to feel like I put a period at the end of it, you know? I guess the best way that I can compare the feeling to me is like, let's say for example, for a second, and this is totally random, but I feel like I gotta say this. I feel like I gotta explain myself here. Let's say you're watching an amazing TV show. It's the best show you've ever seen in your whole life. And it's the end of the season, not the series. And it's the last episode of the season. And it leaves you at a cliffhanger. And at that point, you're like, oh man, what a cliffhanger, you know? I can't wait till the next season. And then a few weeks later, they announce that the series has been canceled. And you go about the rest of your life never knowing what would have happened afterwards. I hate being left in suspense. And to me, that's kind of like how I feel about missing pieces in a puzzle set. I want to start my puzzle and I want to finish my puzzle. I want to see it all together. I don't want nothing missing. I don't want to have to imagine what it would look like with without missing pieces in it. I don't know, that's just me. I know that was totally off topic and, and completely random, but I don't know, I kind of felt like I had to explain myself there. Now, that was the only puzzle that I picked up from the thrift store. I think if I had more time, I could have probably browsed a little longer and looked more into the ones that were piled along with this one, but that's for another day. And there's still a couple of other thrift stores that I found online that I wanna go check out as well. So there'll be more thrift store hauls coming up. So after we checked out that place, before we headed home, we actually headed to the outlets where we went inside my favorite puzzle store. And it was actually the place that I went to in my puzzle shop with me video. And if you haven't seen that one, I'm gonna leave the link to that down below. But they were having their buy one 50% off sale. So you know I had to go in and see what was going on in there. Now I would have had footage for you guys, but the place was in disarray. I, ha I had to actually ask the lady who was working there, you know, what was going on? Are you closing the store? Are you leaving? Like what, I was freaking out a bit because I thought the store was gonna disappear soon. Apparently she was just moving shelves around and changing stock so thankfully they're not leaving that location but I did manage to pick up a couple of sets while I was there so here is what I picked up and the first one I picked up and you saw this in that puzzle shop with me video but I finally picked up my white mountain puzzle Betty Crocker's cookbooks it is 1,000 pieces and it is 24 inches by 30 inches when it's completed and I'm really glad that I picked this one up because the other thing that I really love to collect is cookbooks and my daughter was insistent that I picked it up this time so I did this is just a collage here of Betty Crocker cookbooks which is awesome I love Betty Crocker oh my gosh I can stare at this image all day long and the fact that I see a Betty Crocker cookbook here that my mom owned when I was really, really young. And she had already had it for a long time. It was falling to pieces, but it was such an awesome cookbook. And I would, and I remember I would just sit in my closet and just skim through the whole book. And I was super young. I, I was probably like seven, maybe, I don't know. But that really does bring back memories. This is really fun. I can't wait to do this one. And the next puzzle that I picked up was from the company Springbok. And this one is called The Fruit Stand. It is 500 pieces and it is 18 inches by 23 and a half inches when it's completed. And I had also saw this one the last time I was there and I almost picked it up. But this time I wasn't leaving without it. So yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. We have ourselves just a little farm stand here. I love shopping at farm stands. And you know what? This is probably my own personal farm stand here. If I knew how to grow fruit and vegetables, I guess. One can dream. The scenery in this image is amazing. I love the look of the colors in the sky. We have a beautiful barn in the background, this lovely little wagon with some fruits and vegetables on it, and just some random chickens, you know, pecking at what's there. But anyways, I think overall, I picked up a pretty good selection of puzzles today. And again, I kind of hope that the thrift store had, you know, 
better deals in terms of prices. But, you know, I'm kind of glad that I picked this one up. Anyways, guys, that's all for today. Don't forget to let me know down below what your experiences have been like shopping at thrift stores. And as I said before, I do plan to shop at other ones. So be sure to subscribe if you're new here so that you can come along with me on those trips. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.